Welcome back. After back-to-back -back weekends of protests condemning racial injustice across our country and in Central Texas, demonstrations continue tonight. Fox 44's Kendall Green joins us live at the McLennan County Courthouse where organizers are planning a prayer walk. Kendall, when are they getting started? Well, Adam, in about an hour and a half, they begin at seven and organizers tell me this is an opportunity for folks in the faith based community to actually put their, their actions and their faith in action tonight. Now I'm going to be joined by one of the organizers, Miss Hannah Johnson, and you can tell me a little bit more about what's going on tonight. So what what inspired you guys to do this? Um, well, in the aftermath of George Floyd's death, um, as well as um, Frankie Gonzalez's death here in Waco, um, hearts, a lot of hearts were heavy in our community and in our country. And as a Christian, all I knew to do was pray. And so I thought, why not welcome the community into that? And what's, what's y'all's message? What are you hoping to get accomplished tonight? We're hoping that tonight is a time of reconciliation and restoration for those in our community who have been hurt, uh, specifically by racial injustice and those who, all those that are affected by Frankie Gonzalez's death as well. And we hope that it brings um, just healing to a lot of people in our community. Yeah, absolutely. Now, so you're wearing comfortable shoes. You want other people to wear comfortable shoes as well. Yeah. Uh, how far are you guys walking? Um, so it's going to be a 15 minute walk from here, from the courthouse down to the Doris Miller uh, Memorial. Okay, and uh, I was going to ask you, just what do you think uh, folks coming here should walk away with from this prayer? Um, I want people that walk away from this prayer walk um, to know that, you know, this is just the beginning. Um, that prayer is just one step that we can take in bringing reconciliation to those in our community and our country. Um, but to keep learning and keep asking questions and having meaningful conversations. Yeah, my last question for you, who's involved? I know you guys are going to have worship here as well. Yes, uh, Glory Bell Church has uh, helped us tremendously. Um, they are going to be performing the worship service. And we're also going to have uh, Susan Peters from Unbound, uh, Bishop Wood, and um, many other people uh, from different churches in the community that are going to be speaking uh, later tonight at the memorial. All right, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah. So they're going to be getting started around 7. They encourage everyone to come out and get involved if they can. Now the issues that they're going to be addressing in these prayers is those very issues that we talked to mayor candidates at Waco about tonight and we're going to hear from them and their plan of action as it regards to those issues. But for now live in Waco, Kendall Green, Fox 44 News.